Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today with another episode of How They Three Starred. Uh, basically where I take three bases or three replays and we go back and take a look at how they three starred the base, the planning, what the base looked like. And really the goal here is they are first time three star attacks. So uh, there was no cleanup and it is really basically a matter of how they planned it, how they were able to execute it and now how they were able to three star the base. Now today's episode is going to be focused on the hog riders and there's so many different variants of hog rider attack strategies out there against so many different types of bases. So remember, not every base can be three starred by one set of troops. There's alternate methods of how you could go about three starring a base. But today, again, the focus is the hog riders. And when it comes to the hog riders, the key points that you have to look for when you are in your planning phase of the attack is how do you intend to eliminate that archer queen? How do you intend to take care of the uh, enemy clan castle troops? If there is a lava hound in the clan castle, do you pop it or do you allow it to stay intact realistically when it comes to hog riders you don't want to pop it also you want to identify the giant bomb locations as well as the possibility of tesla farm locations again that is just strictly your kill squad when it comes to the hog riders how many hog riders are you going to need how much of the base is left over and how many heal spells are going to be required and then also what do you bring in your clan castle bowlers or the hog riders we're going to take a look at those three replays and i'll try to get a little bit more defined on those topics uh let's go ahead and get into it guys all right let's go ahead and kick things off with the planning phase of this attack you got the archer queen's location here as well as the clan castle now take note of this expo if you place a jump spell here and get your kill squad in this location you can take out those very pivotal items as well as eliminating the expos and you'll basically split the base in half now this uh, trash ring structure down here in the south is really more of an illusion to trick you and think otherwise uh, identifying the giant bomb locations or possibility of giant bomb locations as well as the possibility of the tesla farm and then look over here on the right side you got these lanes they're perfect for the hog riders now what our attacker here is going to do is split the base in half. He's going to use three golems to set a very large funnel and take care of all these structures down here in the south. That way he can get his bowlers and heroes into the core of this base. Starting with the one golem on the right side and a few wizards to work on the structures over there. And then the two golems right here to work their way in towards the town hall and really clear out all of these structures down here in the south to set the funnel for the Barbarian King, Queen, and Bowlers to go directly towards the core of this base. Now, it's really a matter of timing and allowing those wizards to work. Now, there just happened to be a Tesla down here by the Town Hall, so it's going to distract and detour our golems, and so all of that tanking is going to actually stay on the outside of the base, while all we have here is a Queen and Bowlers to go into the core of the base. Now, our attacker here brings bowlers with the intent to gut out a lot of the south side of this base and really split the base in half, leaving this top side for the hog riders. Hog riders are moving into the flank of the queen while the queen's working on the expo. The hog riders are taking on the compartments that look like lanes. Now, all there is is a few possibility locations for giant bombs. That's where your heal spell is going to come into play. And it's going to get coverage on the final compartments on the back side where you have the archer tower and the cannon. And he still has one heal spell remaining for the Tesla farm location. So he will drop that heal spell. Heal spell will get coverage for our hogs, and the hogs are going to gracefully go into the Tesla farm location and take it out with ease without a lot of issues, minus the spring trap and another giant bomb that sits next to the final Tesla. At this point, you have plenty of uh, cleanup with the wizards, as well as having the golems for tanking, barbarian king, and the queen. Uh, not many places for flaws in the cleanup portion of this attack. All right, so our next base actually looks a lot like the previous base where you have the lanes on the base, uh, identifying the queen's location and the clan castle, and then also the possibility of Tesla farm locations, which could be in multiple different places. A little bit of a gamble here, but if we set a really wide funnel and get our heroes to the core, we can take care of that queen and clan castle troops, which is where I bring hog riders in the clan castle instead of bowlers, because I don't really feel like I need bowlers. I feel like I'm going to take out a lot more of the base with the hog riders. So we're going to start out with some mini Minions, picking off structures that are outside of range of any air defense coverage as well as archer tower coverage and we're going to use uh looks like three golems here in this case so again setting a very wide funnel using the baby dragon right over here to tank for our golem basically pulling the fire from that archer tower now we are going directly in on a tesla farm location 
So we got our golem tanking here in the center for our queen, our barbarian king, and our wizards. We're allowing the wizards to work and clear on both sides of the town hall here. And we're basically setting a channel for the jump spell to go directly in on the tower, uh, the clan castle, the tower, the clan castle location, as well as the enemy queen. So the golem has already tanked his way in. And we got wizards, barbarian king, and poison spell working on the enemy clan castle troops. Barbarian King's ability is going to be used to take care of the enemy queen, and now we can start transitioning into the Hog Rider portion of this attack. Hog Rider's in the clan castle for a higher level, and we also have to deal with a skeleton trap location, so we're going to save or use our poison spell specifically for that, as well as getting heal spell coverage on the giant bomb, uh, possibility of giant bomb locations, or that bomb tower there. Uh, we're kind of coming around in a counterclockwise manner, allowing our Hog Riders to work through the base, dropping a heal spell to carry over into a location where there could be a giant bomb there and then coming in with our final four hog riders to assist with the back end portion and we also have a little bit of a swag heal spell to get coverage on yet again another giant bomb location so the amount of hog riders left on this base really uh opens up for a limited time issue uh the queen's still alive we still have the queen's ability she's going to crack through this comp compartment we're going to use her ability and assist with the cleanup portion or try to crack through this wall but we have plenty of hog riders which are very fast on the cleanup portion and we were able to deal with this base very easily since we were able to get rid of the tesla farm location as well as the queen and the clan castle troops all right so for our final attack let's identify that queen's location where's that clan castle at and the possibility of tesla farm there's actually four different locations correction about like five different locations that there could be a possibility of tesla farm so uh the bringing of bowlers in the clan castle here is going to gut out the core of this base using three golems here on this wall in order to set a very large funnel to channel into the core of this base. The first golem is going to be dropped over here on the western corner with a few wizards to assist with clearing out structures. Another golem is dropped in the center because it'll be within range of the archer queen where the third golem has been dropped. So you got to allow time for the wizards to clear. The wizards are going to clear on all flanks of the golems and then allowing for the defenses to be uh, distracted on the golems, the wall break breakers will slide in or sneak in and open up that compartment, uh, granting access to a large portion of this base with the assistance of a jump spell right there in the center of the base. A poison spell is dropped for the clan castle troops and now our queen, barbarian king, bowlers, and a few wizards have worked their way into that clan castle. And basically at this point, you can start on the hog rider portion. Now the Tesla farm is actually uh, down here in the south side to the flank. So all of the hog riders are going to be dropped minus a few and a, a heal spell is going to be dropped in the location where the giant bomb is, the Tesla farm, and really it's just uh, a, a reaction to the attack or adjustment on the fly. I'm not really sure what exactly Aaron's plan was here in the beginning, but identifying the Tesla farm location right there in the south side where he automatically planned on bringing his hogs into the flank of his bowlers really worked out well. Now he does not have a heal spell on the back side of this attack for the final defenses here, so he was really heavily reliant on the bowlers and the level of his heroes here. He has a few uh, archers, a few wizards here for the cleanup portion of this attack, and the archers are on the outskirts taking care of those builders' huts, and that uh, the hog riders will take out that final mortar. Queen's ability is still intact, so just a great read on this base and being able to funnel all of his troops to the core of this base and taking care of the structures for the hog riders. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and wrap us up for this episode, guys. I try to go pretty fast, but I try to slow it down just enough where you can kind of comprehend what's going on in the attack. These videos are really uh, a combination of th two things to help you out and also to help me out remember how to read bases, if you will. So that's going to wrap us up for today, guys. Uh, drop those comments below. Let me know if this video is helping you out at all. And yeah, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching, guys.